make sure your thumbnails pop sis make sure they Make sure they get some attention, sis. Make sure they get that attention. Make sure you get that clickbait, sis. Hey, babes, and welcome back to my channel. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Sue. I'm in the house quarantining, okay? Making videos, making myself useful. I hope these ideas and these topics that i'm talking about is interesting and it helps you out but i'm Susie to all my new subscribers what's good what's up what's up welcome welcome to the sue game family i'm the champ is here the champ is here <laughs> i'm so extra but um <clears throat> to all my returning subscribers what's it what it do what it do what it do what's good what's popping what's up what's popping poo so i'm in here i'm chilling so I felt like I should make a video on things that I wish I'd known when I started my channel. Okay, so I did just upload my second girls talk uh, the other day. Um, so make sure y'all check that out. I will list that down below in the description box. So I'm gonna be chilling on this video. Like we chilling, we quarantining together. Now I'm gonna give y'all um, my tips and tricks on things that I wish I would've known and things that I can say would help you out with your channel. So we're gonna go right into it. And I think I got eight different topic topics to talk about. Some of them I won't spend a lot of time on, so I will, but y'all know me. Y'all know I like to talk. So let's just go ahead and jump right in the video and they not going in any like order or whatnot but number one when starting a youtube channel you want to make sure you have a list of videos you need to know what video that you're gonna be doing next you don't want to post a video and then two months later you come up with a video idea no it's not gonna work like that like this is my, like if you can see it, this is some of my different videos that I could do and some that I've done. With that being said, we're going to jump into number two, which is consistency. Like you gotta be consistent because remember when i was saying like you don't want to post a month a video this month then next month you posted your next video so that was a mistake that i made i i did do that like i went months without posting videos then like i just was more consistent i had my video ideas and like i was just doing them like i don't like to just post anything on my channel so i want to make it interesting you want it to be interesting um as well on your channel um so yes post often if you could like the a good thing is um at least one or two videos a week you know make it like that make that a goal or something you know at least so you could keep your face out there because you want people to know who you is you don't want to just be like oh yeah that's Susie and then oh I like this video and like where it's I, I want more like I want to see more from you but you don't have the videos up so me I do have videos up and with that being said let's go into number three making a playlist on your channel this is important and it will also help your channel grow like as far as your views and um your watch hours and all that good stuff so say for instance well my channel this is perfect because I have a different variety of things on my channel. I'm gonna tell you like the different playlists that I have. My how to's and my DIY's. So I put like how to do like hair is in there, how to do makeup is in there, how to DIY a jacket, how to make things like 
stuff like that is and then i have a category with Susie and guests like so you can see all the guests that i've had on my channel and then i got reviews where i've done shoe reviews hair reviews you know different type of reviews and then i got talk time when your girl is like literally talking putting you on to some game then i got makeup videos then i got my vlogs then i got my hair care then i got my pranks and the list goes on and on and on so make sure y'all do that and why is this a good idea because like say for instance someone is watching my video with i just did these curls so i have more videos where i did natural hairstyles Ooh, they just gave me an idea so that helps out your channel a lot i wish i would have known that and i once i've done that i do see that my videos get more views and i've also been getting more subscribers i don't know if it's because of the playlist but it's your girl because your girl's been working okay now we're going to go in to number four with music and copyrights you want to be very, very careful on using other people's music on your channel. Because I've heard once you get monetized and you're able to get paid for certain videos, if you have um, Rihanna playing in your video, you can stand under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A. If you got that playing in your video, then sus. You can't get paid. Because Rihanna didn't give you permission to use her song in your video. So don't do that. And say for your instance, your video got 100,000 views on it or a million views on it. Yeah. You can't get paid for that. So, um... Be careful what music you use and um, with the intro, don't make your intro super long using someone's music neither. So, that being said, just be careful with you using people's music. It's um, actually places where that has free um, background music um, and stuff. So, you can always search those up. I just added one more thing to the list. So, it's nine. I said eight, but it's nine now. Um, so, we're going to go into number five. You, this is big. You have to have some personality. Like, you got to. Like, you just can't be on there, like, because I know when I started, I didn't have too much, but... I had a little bit, but you just can't go on there like, you see me, I'm talking to y'all, I'm not just, you know, well, so, I'm Susie, welcome back to my channel, I'm going to be telling you guys how to, um, go about growing your channel and what. Or what you have worth a half. What's good? What's popping? What it do? What it do? It's your girl Sue. And I'm about to tell y'all things I wish I knew before I started my YouTube channel. Okay? Okay. So, you know, like, stuff like that, you gotta have a little personality. Like, you just can't, you just can't be, get on here and be dry, you know? So, have a little personality. Um... Be yourself. Definitely be yourself. Like, show your personality as you. Like, give them you. Like, this is me. This is me. This is little old me. Okay. Um, This is kind of, like, both ways. So, like, when starting a channel, don't put super, super long videos starting maybe like five minutes but the best and then again like i said this is kind of iffy so i kind of want to lean more towards make the video longer than five minutes make the video at least 10 minutes and why i say this is because an average person is not going to sit and watch your whole video like 
some people don't watch the video all the way to the end but if you guys are watching my video all the way to the end <laughs> i love y'all thank y'all so much like that means a lot to me if you're watching all the way to the end because some of my videos be super long eventually once you get monetized you will start to get paid from these videos and the longer they watch the more you get paid you know so make your videos at least 10 minutes or longer okay thumbnails y'all so thumbnails is like a big thing too now when you making um your videos you want your thumbnails to kind of be bold kind of be bright um and pretty much stand out you don't want to uh me i do take screenshots of my video sometimes they say don't use screenshots of your video but i literally like throughout my video i do a little like depending on what type of video it is i kind of and then once i'm editing i screenshot that part and i use that for my thumbnail and then i go to photo tunes and other different apps to you know either crop it make the colors bolder or you know make the picture stand out like different editing so that's how i do so the thumbnail needs to be interesting because if you go to a video on how to do curly hair and somebody just got a screenshot of the video and you can't even see the curls or say for instance it's just like probably like this is a screenshot and then i got some words on here how to get curly hair right on the side with this picture it's like i ain't gonna really click that because first off i can't even it's not interesting like like the thumbnail is not interesting so if i did like a picture like so like you know do a little editing and stuff then yeah i click that video make sure your thumbnails pop sis make sure they pop, 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 pop. make sure they get some attention sis make sure they get that attention make sure you get that clickbait sis no, it ain't even got to be like clickbait, but nine times out of ten, if a person is, is about to watch your video, the title is interesting or your thumbnail was interesting or it was just popping. Your thumbnail was popping, poo. It was popping. But on to the next, which is number. Y'all don't even think I've been saying numbers, have I? But this will be number uh, number eight. So, we're going to go in. I actually just learned about this, and I wish I had known. But, remember I was saying, people might not watch a video to the end, but for the for those who do watch the video to the end, it's called end card, I believe it is. And you can do it on old videos, which... <laughs> Shut up, Paul. Oh, but you can have different videos at the end and you can actually put two like at the end of your video and they can actually click on like say for instance i did a video on these curls then i can put a video at the end where i have more hairstyles from me or say for instance me and woo did pranks then at the end of the video i could put where there's more pranks that we've done more challenges and stuff where we done so put videos that you think would be interesting and they also got the option where you can let youtube pick the videos that they think will be rec um good for recommendation at the end of the video um or like i said you could pick them and you just have to do the work yourself but it's all on the um youtube studio editor app or something like that I mean, no, you have to sign in on YouTube. I'm sorry. And then you can go from there. And last but not least, I have keep educating yourself. Like, y'all, you got to keep educating yourself. Mm. Keep 
keep learning and like cause that's what I do like that end card thing I literally just learned that a couple days ago and that was something I didn't know and it actually that also helps you get more subscribers and it also excuse me these chips <laughs> but that also helps you get more subscribers and it also helps you get more views more watch hours you're continuing to learn different things on your channel it's going it's good for you because you learning more things that's going to help your channel grow and all that good stuff so make sure that you keep educating yourself on different things about youtube because the youtube youtube is a lot it's a lot to know it's a lot to learn so keep educating yourself, keep watching different videos, follow those people and learn from them. But yeah, I hope this video was um, helpful. I hope that you guys can take something out of, this, out of this video and grow your YouTube channel. But sis, with that being said, I'm gonna finish eating my Cheetos. And some videos. Read my book. Oh, y'all. From my vision board. I'm already working on. Like. I got um, my hair company. I'm in the process of getting that ready. So, I'm working on that already. Um, you a badass. It's a book that I've been trying to read for years, y'all. And I put it on my vision board and I finally bought it. I actually tried to go to Barnes and Nobles, but I forgot everything was closed down. And because of this COVID-19, like I'm so sick of this, y'all. But because of all that, everything is closed down. So I just went ahead and bought the book on my um, bookstore and on my phone. So I do read it on my phone and um stuff is already starting to work in your girl's favor and my channel is growing like i've been getting like 10 subscribers a day or even more like the other day i literally just told woo like babe i'm at 2020 20 subscribers and let me see let me see where i'm at now I'm at 2063. Why am I saying 20? But I think I said 2020 because it's 2020. But I am at 2063 subscribers. So that's like a big jump. It's like 43 freaking subscribers in two or three days. Like, that's good. I'm excited. It might not be a lot, but I'm excited. <laughs> but um yeah stuff is starting to happen on my um vision board hopefully when they open outside back up it's cracking you know it's cracking you want cheeto you want some do you do you do you do you but like i said i hope this video helps you grow your channel i hope this helped out with starting your channel or whatever the case may be but i hope it helped give it a uh give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below yeah i feel so ratchet with holding these chips in my hand and saying my outro but I think this is like my third video I recorded today. But give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell button to be notified when you grow a post. Bite this Cheeto. And I'm out. Peace.
Y'all still hear him? <laughs> I was just in my mom. I was just going crazy on these shit. But uh, for real, for real. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs>